Hello guys, welcome back. In previous lecture, we have seen how to create a GitHub account. In this lecture, we are going to create a repository on GitHub. If you do remember, in previous section, we have created a GitHub repository on Git, nothing but in our local system. But in this lecture, we are going to create a repository over here, GitHub, and we can pull that repository onto our local system and do activities. Anyway, as a starting point, we should create a GitHub repository. Let's go and create a repository. This is my GitHub account. And as I said, I have 58 repositories so far. And I'm going to create a new repository by choosing this option. Or else I can choose this plus symbol to create a new repository. And moreover, to create a new repository, you must log into your account. Okay. So I have already logged in. So I can able to create a new repository. So this repository is going to create under Revd account. I'm going to name it as a Galaxy Technologies Git Repo. Okay. So just I'm going to give the relevant name so that it is easy for us to remember. This is Galaxy Technologies Git Repo. And uh, if you scroll down, you can provide a description if you wish. I'm not giving any description. And uh, another one is you can see public and private repositories and just see the description what they have given anyone on the internet can see this repository you can choose who can commit which means that if you upload your code in the public repository anybody in the internet which means that this repository is publicly available if they browse this repository from your account they can able to see the content what is there in your repository Whereas private repository, you can choose who can see and commit this repository. Means it is only available and accessible for the people to whom you can give access. So when can we use public and when can we use private? If you have a proprietary content and you don't want to disclose your code with any other person, then we can go with the private and also you can restrict the access to specific persons or specific account holders. Whereas public repository, if you want to share your code with community and you are fine to share your code, in those cases, we can use the public repositories. And moreover, if nothing to hide in the code what you have written. In our case, we can choose public repository because we are not going to keep any proprietary data in this repository. And a later point of time, we may choose private repositories. Next, initialize this repository with add readme file add .git .ignore. okay this is new feature and choose a license okay these two are new features earlier these two options were not there anyway first thing is add readme file usually in the readme file we are going to give detailed information about your repository what exactly it is doing and in which cases we can use this repository something like this you have written the code and to understand what that code is doing is difficult and how to use that code is difficult right instead of that one you can update readme file by providing instructions how others can use your repository if they want that is where we can write readme file and while writing readme file we must write in the markdown language which we are going to see in the later point of time for now i'm just choosing this option that to add readme file and we don't need git ignore we are going to talk about git ignore later point of time and create a repository okay so now i can say i have created a repository the repository name is Velaxi technologies git repo and in this we have one file that is readme.md md stands for markdown language and by default it adds just your repository name in this file Okay, so this is the content added in your readme file. So this is how we can create a repository and there are a lot of options are available over here, but majorly we can concentrate over here master. You can see this is the branch we called you can see branches and master by default. It creates a branch called master and all your content goes into the master branch and we are going to talk about branches in the later point of time again. And it is initialized by Revd initial commit. Nothing but I have done one commit. We have seen commits by using git log, right? Same thing you can see here. And commits, you can check it out over here. This is the one commit and it has done one minute ago. And here you can see go to file, add file, 
code okay there are different options over here and we are majorly going to use this one that is we want to clone this repository to clone this repository we just need to click over here and we need to take up this url again this url is clone with https and we have one more option that is use ssh we are going to talk about ssh later point of time but for now we are going to use https so here if we click it will get copied into our clipboard and we can use wherever we want this is about how we can clone our repository and apart from that we have issues pull requests actions projects wiki uh, insights and settings mostly we are dealing with settings okay like that there are various options we have but we are going to deal with some of these whenever it is necessary i'm going back to code again and uh, this is our default landing page that's all for this video in next lecture we are going to clone this repository into developer system and start working with that that is what we are going to see thanks for watching and see you there